Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the founder of GoodBed.com. Today, we are excited to be here to review a product called the Novos Bed Mattress, which is from Canada. So, thanks for joining us. One of the things that we believe here at GoodBed is that you need personalized information to make the right mattress choice for you. So when we talk about the Novos bed here, we are going to talk a little bit about how it compares to other mattresses that you may find both online as well as in your local stores. But we're also going to talk about who this is a good match for so that you can determine whether this mattress might be the right one for you. So one of the things that we like about the Novos bed mattress is that it, is that it comes in three different comfort layers. Uh, it comes in a firm, a medium, and a soft, which we think is important because there is absolutely no one mattress that's right for everyone. So at a minimum, providing three different comfort layers gives uh, the customer, you, the chance to hone in on the right, something that's gonna be as close as possible to what's right for you. Okay, so what you're looking at with the Novos bed mattress in terms of the construction is a pretty standard construct for a memory foam mattress or what we at GoodBed would call a memory foam over foam mattress. So what, you, what we mean by that is that you've got about, in this case, four inches of memory foam below which you have seven inches of polyurethane foam as a support layer. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here is just, we've unzipped the cover here and uh, we're going to go ahead and just cut this open so that you can see exactly what's inside. Okay, so what we have here is this top layer is two inches of high density, five pounds uh, viscoelastic foam, also known as memory foam. Uh, then you've got another two inch layer of memory foam below it. And below that, you've got seven inches of 1.8 pound density polyurethane foam acting as your base uh, support layer. So um, as you can see, this, this memory foam you can see the delayed effect of it when I squeeze it. Um, and <clears throat> you can also see that these, uh, this memory foam, they put, two, uh, they put pin core holes in this top layer, which is designed to help increase airflow, which uh, should improve the dissipation of heat buildup that can occur with memory foam. So that's what you're looking at inside this mattress. Just. You see, this is, this is typical high density memory foam where you got that classic slow response feeling. And you can see it much more pronounced when we actually look at the foam itself as opposed to trying to do the same test through the mattress. Okay, so when you're trying to think about what the right mattress is for you, there's really two absolutely non-negotiable things that you have to get out of your mattress, which are number one, back support, and number two, pressure relief. If you're not getting those two things from your mattress, then you definitely have the wrong mattress. So we're gonna start with those two things. Um, in terms of back support, the key that thing that you're gonna be looking for in a mattress is one that keeps your spine in proper alignment while you're sleeping. So that is gonna depend a little bit on what position you're sleeping in, and it's also gonna depend a lot on things like how much you weigh um, and the shape of your body. Um, so in general, the proper spinal alignment you want to have is that your spine should be in the same shape it is when you're standing, which means when you're on your back, there is that curve in your lumbar as just an example. And when you roll to your side, you want it to generally be straight. So I'm about six feet tall, not quite 200 pounds. Uh, and I generally sleep on my back in this position here. And what I'm noticing in this position is that while my spine feels generally uh, in a pretty natural position, I'm noticing that my hips are sinking just a little bit more into the mattress than uh, what feels completely natural. Um, this is understandable because of the hips on my body, just like on most people's bodies, as, is the heaviest part of the body. So that's the part that is most likely to sink further into the mattress. Um, so I'm feeling like maybe this particular model, um, which is the Novus bed in the medium firmness, might be a little bit of a better match for someone who's a little bit lighter than me. Um, now, 
as I move over to my side, um, one of the good things is that I, I noticed that the mattress is very capable of um, absorbing the, the pointiness of my shoulder as it as in this position, which is also really important when you are um, trying to maintain proper spinal alignment on your side. Uh, it also is likewise able to um, absorb the curvature of my hips. That being said, again, in this position, I do feel like my hips are a little bit lower than what feels natural for me. Okay, so uh, what we have here is the medium version of this Novos bed mattress. So in terms of assessing the, the back support and the pressure relief, again, these things all come down to personal fit and matching. So from the standpoint of my personal body type, shape, weight, and sleep position, uh, I felt like I probably needed a little bit more of a supportive surface layer, a little bit more firmness in that top layer in order to keep me from hammocking the way I was. Where the medium version of the Novos bed is definitely um, towards the softer end of the medium spectrum. Uh, we would classify this as a medium soft in our uh, website. So from my standpoint, I'd probably be looking at trying the firm or maybe even considering firming this up using the Comfort Plus uh, uh, offering from Novos Bed, which we'll talk about in a little bit later. Now in terms of pressure relief, the best position to assess pressure relief in a mattress, in any mattress, is really on your side because that's the position in which your body's weight is distributed over the smallest surface area, specifically your shoulders and your hips. And, and I can say that most definitely this mattress, as you might expect from a high density memory foam mattress, has great pressure relief. So I'm getting more than enough uh, in that department. Now the other thing you wanna watch out for when it comes to pressure relief, particularly on a mattress that's memory foam like this one, is the idea of bottoming out. So in some cases, you buy a mattress with only a few inches of memory foam uh, which has a, a softer comfort layer uh, and then underneath that is a firmer support layer of, of firmer foam and if you are heavy enough you just go right through that top softer top layer and end up kind of bottoming out on that firmer layer so you end up actually negating some of the pressure relief properties of that top layer if it's not essentially thick enough for you uh, in this particular case, for me at my body weight, I'm finding that the four inches of memory foam on the top of this mattress is, is sufficient. I'm not having that bottoming out sensation here. So that is another plus for this mattress in the pressure relief column. So once you get beyond back support and pressure relief, any mattress is going to have a, a number of other characteristics that uh, define it that may be of greater or lesser importance to you depending on your personal preferences. So with a mattress like this I think the most prominent of those is the responsiveness question which by what I mean by that is is the degree to which it has kind of that memory feel. So memory feel is strictly a matter of personal preference. Some people love that memory feel, some people do not. This mattress most definitely has that delayed response memory feel. And as a result, this is going to be uh, a much better fit for somebody who really likes that feeling. And if you're not someone who likes that memory feel, this is not a mattress that's gonna be the right fit for you. So the next mattress property that we're gonna talk about is motion isolation. And this is an area where memory foam mattresses, and this one is certainly no exception, really tend to excel. Uh, so if you're someone for whom motion isolation is important, say you sleep with a restless partner or young children or pets are joining you during the night, then this may be a, a criteria that's important for you. So we're gonna show you the motion isolation properties of this mattress. Okay, so we've put together a little motion isolation test here. As you can see, there's a bowling pin there. We've got it laying on uh, a small piece of tempered glass just um, for a little, to give it a flat surface to be on. But what we're trying to test here is just to what degree the motion transfers from one side of the bed to the other. Now bear in mind too that with any motion isolation test you do on a mattress, the surface on which the mattress is resting is gonna play a great part in 
to, to what degree there's going to be you know, subtle movements in the, uh, on the other side. So in this case, we've got this on a piece of plywood under which there are wooden slats. Uh, so you're hearing a little bit of flex as I push down. But uh, if we were doing this on the floor, I think you'd see even less movement in this bowling pin. So very little motion trans is being transferred from one side of the bed to the other. So now I'm the restless partner who gets into bed late at night. And as you can see, the bowling pin did not move. So another consideration when you're picking a mattress is temperature. Uh, believe it or not, not every mattress feels the same temperature on your body when you're sleeping on it. Uh, and one thing you may have heard is that memory foam has a reputation for sleeping a little bit warmer than some other materials. Um, that tends to be true. However, what maybe is less understood is that this only tends to be an issue for people who tend to be at the warmer end of, like ha tend to be inclined to sleep a bit warmer. Most people um, are somewhere in the middle. Some people do sleep a little cooler, some people sleep a little warmer. So if you are one of those people who is at the warmer end of the spectrum, then memory foam could be a consideration for you. Now this particular memory foam, um, they've taken some efforts to give it a little bit of a cooler feel than, than maybe other memory foam mattresses do. They have put some pin core holes in the top. I've slept on this mattress. Uh, I probably veer a little bit towards the warmer side of things and I didn't experience any problems sleeping on this mattress. But again, in general, memory foam is gonna sleep just a little bit warmer. And I'd say in general, this mattress, because of the cushioning depth and how much you sink into it, um, less of your body's surface area is gonna be exposed. Uh, and so if you are someone who is uh, inclined to sleep warm, that might be a consideration for you. Okay, so another property of any mattress is how deeply you sink into the cushioning layers. And again, this is going to be a bit personal, but it definitely depends on the construction of that particular mattress as well. So again, we're looking at the Novos bed medium here. And as you can see, um, this as, as memory foam mattresses go, or even just as mattresses in general go, has deeper than average cushioning. Um, which means that I'm sinking deeper into the mattress than I would on some other mattresses. Um, so this is going to be a great fit for people who like to like that feeling of sleeping kind of in their mattress. Um, if you're the type of person who does not like that and prefers to sleep on their mattress, then this is not going to be as good a match for you. Okay, so cushioning depth is a little bit hard to measure, uh, as you saw when I'm sitting on my back. But so what we're trying to do here is is give you a little bit of a demonstration to show you how much uh, cushioning depth there is on this particular mattress. Uh, what we have here is a 30 pound medicine ball. And what we're gonna do is just put it on the bed here and kind of just watch what happens. Um, and you can see just in general how much a 30 pound medicine ball sinks in. And then that's something that we can show you in, in other reviews is um, so that you get a little bit of comparison there. So the next consideration we're going to discuss is edge support. Now edge support may be important to you for a couple reasons. The first is the reason that I'm demonstrating right here, which is some people like to be able to sit on the edge of their bed to, for example, put their shoes on or something like that. And you will see that with this mattress, and this is very typical of memory foam mattresses, um, that there's not a lot of, of edge support here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sinking way down as I sit on the edge of the mattress and um, for some people that may feel a little bit unsettling. Uh, the second reason that med edge support may be important to you is to the extent, for example, that um, either you like to sleep near the edge of your bed or you're forced to sleep near the edge of your bed because maybe others are joining you in the middle of the night, pets or kids or what have you. Um, and you will see again, uh, if I am sleeping near the edge of this mattress, um, that it is, uh, there's not a whole lot of edge support being provided. So if this tends to be something that is important to you, um, this should potentially be a consideration for you with this mattress. Another thing that you may want to consider as you're picking a mattress is the ease of repositioning on the mattress. 
Now, this is probably not a consideration that's too important unless you maybe are a little older and have a little bit more difficulty moving around in your mattress. Uh, so if that is the case, what you will find is as a result of this being a memory foam mattress with, with nice high density memory foam and deeper cushioning levels, it is also a little harder to reposition. Now it's not as hard as some memory foam mattresses I've tried, but um, it's, it's definitely a little bit tougher uh, than, than others that I've tried. And it certainly is tougher than most non-memory foam mattresses. So again, not likely to be a consideration for, uh, that's a, a powerful consideration for most people, but if you are someone for whom repositioning is, can be difficult, that's something you should be aware of with this mattress. Okay, so with any mattress that you're gonna buy online, uh, an important consideration tends to be the return policy because obviously you're not gonna have a chance to try this in a store before you get it. Um, so Novos Bed, like many others, uh, offers a very generous return policy. Theirs is in fact even a little bit longer than, than some. Uh, they offer a 120 day no risk return policy, meaning that they'll completely refund the, the mattress. Um, and the delivery is free, so there's nothing to refund there as well. Um, so uh, you're gonna have a chance to try this in your house and see if it's right for you. Um, the other thing that Novos Bed does that I think is truly uh, above and beyond what is standard amongst these online players is they offer a Comfort Plus program. So that if you find that the mattress that you chose is either a little too firm or a little too soft, they will actually send you a topper uh, and we're gonna show you that in a separate video where you can actually unzip this cover, uh, insert the topper and zip on a new layer around here that uh, actually encases the cover underneath your, uh, encases the topper underneath your current cover and um, that will either firm it up or soften it up depending on you know, what your um, issue was with the mattress that you ordered. Um, so in general, if you're considering Novos Bed, you might wanna think about airing more on the firmer side uh, than on the softer side because it's generally a little easier to soften up a mattress than it is to firm up a mattress. So if, you're in, if you feel like you're in between two comfort layers when you're ordering online, consider that Novos Bed has this pretty unique offering with the Comfort Plus and air on the firmer side. So I, I mentioned that Novos Bed also offers free delivery on their mattresses. Uh, that is for the mattress itself um, as well as the foundation which you can purchase separately. Uh, those show up via FedEx and uh, or UPS and uh, they also offer something that is unique, which is they offer a white glove delivery option. You can see in our unboxing video that the mattress, this queen size mattress weighs about 95 pounds or so, and it's quite heavy. Uh, even, when it's, and, and even when it's boxed up in a tight roll, to get it up a flight of stairs is pretty awkward. Um, definitely takes a couple able-bodied people to do it. So it's a nice option that they offer white glove delivery. The current cost of that is $99, which is which is really pretty generous uh, considering uh, it, it could otherwise be a blocker for some people to be ordering this mattress. So something else to consider. So another consideration that's important for almost every mattress shopper is value and affordability. So this is by no means the cheapest uh, memory foam mattress that we feature on our site. However, I feel comfortable saying that this mattress has very good value for what you're getting. Uh, and what I mean by that is that what you're getting here is uh, four inches of five pound density memory foam, which is a high density of memory foam, on top of a, a, a also dense 1.8 pound base layer. Um, those are high quality foam materials. Uh, and on top of that, it's, it's covered in a, a, a nice cover, uh, which, which you can see here is sturdy and well-built. Uh, overall, the mattress is, is clearly a well-built mattress. Um, so I definitely feel comfortable that you're getting a good value for your money. And I should specify that I'm basing that on the current price of the mattress, which is $10.99 in queen size. So 
Again, not the cheapest memory foam mattress you can get, but for what you're paying, you're getting a lot of mattress. Okay, so just to summarize some of the things we've covered here today, uh, relative to other mattresses that you may be considering, the Novos Bed being a memory foam mattress is going to be not such a great match if you don't like uh, memory feel, number one. Uh, if, for example, edge support is something that's really important to you, uh, or if um, repositioning is difficult for you during the night, or if you tend to sleep very much towards the warmer end of the spectrum. Um, However, if you like memory foam mattresses and are in the market for a memory foam mattress, relative to some of the other online options, uh, the Novus Bed is going to be a great fit if, for example, you like to sleep a little bit more in your mattress deep, with deeper cushioning around you. Um, it also offers some unique things that some of the other online brands do not, starting with three different comfort layers. Uh, sorry, comfort options, as well as a comfort plus program, which allows you to adjust the comfort level if you do not end up choosing the right one for you the first time. Um, and lastly, relative to some of the big memory foam brands that you might find in your local store, we do think that this, given the quality of the materials used in this mattress, offers a very good value. So if you've gotten to this point in the video and you've made the determination that the Novos Bed is the right mattress for you, that's great. We're glad that this video could help you confirm that. Uh, and if you do end up choosing to buy a Novos Bed, we really hope that you come back to goodbed.com and write a review so that millions of other mattress shoppers can benefit with your personal experience with this product. If on the other hand, you are still unsure as to whether a memory foam mattress may be right for you or whether this particular model of memory foam mattress is right for you, we would urge you to go to goodbed.com and take our mattress match quiz, which you can find right up in the header of our website. The mattress match quiz will walk you through all the criteria and considerations that we covered in this video, and will actually, if you want, show you a match score for this particular mattress, as well as show you the mattresses that best fit your personal needs and requirements. So we thank you for watching, and we hope you sleep well.